It's 2018, and I think secure private messaging isn't something that exists anymore on any of the popular platforms. So if you're talking about Facebook Messenger, unless you've been living under a rock, you're probably aware that your private messages aren't really very private. I mean, Facebook has had this history of selling your data to advertisers, and that's really their business. If they didn't do that, you would probably have to pay for Facebook, which I don't think many people would. So that was kind of understood. But there's really a boundary that should not be crossed there. And when you're talking about private messages, I think that is very well that boundary. Now on the Microsoft front, looking at Skype, they're no longer even trying to pretend that it is private or it has any level of privacy whatsoever because now their new terms of service provides using offensive language in your Skype messages. And we're talking about private conversations here. It's not something that you're posting on the Microsoft website in the public domain. No, it's something that you're mentioning privately to somebody that you know, somebody who's in your contacts maybe. So not only are these companies now trying to spy on you and figure out what you're saying to other people in your private conversations, but they're also going to regulate it and tell you what you can and cannot say. Now this is extremely Orwellian and it reminds me so much of 1984 that I don't really know if it's actually time to hit the panic button. So some of the most popular platforms are not only trying to spy on you and see what you're doing, but they're also trying to influence your speech and tell you what you can and cannot say. And I perfectly well understand that you can control what you can and cannot say on a public outlet, especially if you're representing Microsoft or if it's on their website. But think about it. This is private conversation. You might just be making a note to yourself or talking to your friend or talking to somebody you know. Why does Microsoft care what you say in those conversations, whether it's offensive, whether it's inappropriate? And another very difficult thing to understand is what exactly is inappropriate and who decides that? Well, apparently in this case, it's going to be Microsoft who will be deciding that for you. That is deeply disturbing, especially given how tech companies are having more and more of a political agenda these days. So what's the solution? What do you use for messaging? And this is where I thought I would give you some of my input, and I also would request your input in the comments. So let me know what messaging solutions you guys use, whether or not you care about these things, or if you're still okay using things like Skype or Facebook Messenger. I would definitely not recommend using Facebook Messenger, even Skype at this point. And you might say, well, what's the alternative? And that's what we're here to discuss. So the first alternative is Wire. This is developed by some individuals who were previously a part of the Skype team and they left it, I believe, because they did not agree with the whole privacy issue. So Wire is an end-to-end encrypted, really secure messaging application, but the major downside at this point is that it seems to still have a lot of technical issues in the sense that I've noticed issues using it on mobile devices and, you know, the syncing between different devices. Sometimes you'll be getting a call on your phone when you're actually on a call on your desktop with someone. And so the back end isn't really the most polished. But it does have a good UI and it's totally usable, so I would definitely recommend checking it out. The other alternative is probably something that you're much more familiar with, and it's Discord. If you're not familiar with it, Discord is kind of like a community or gaming-centric messaging application. And it's really great. Not only does it allow you to have your private messaging going on, it also allows you to join servers and communities and participate in public channels. While it's probably not as secure as Wire, still a lot better than Skype or Facebook in my opinion. So I definitely recommend using Discord more and more and trying to build a community there. If you're not aware, we already have a TPSC community on Discord, which you can join by checking out the link in the description. But I think it is high time that people start moving away from these mainstream platforms and start using more secure alternatives. Another thing that I would personally recommend is put your money where your mouth is or vote with your wallet. So when you see developers who are creating private encrypted channels of communication and doing the kind of things that you think should be done and you agree with morally, Support them, get the pro edition of their product, because at the end of the day, 
that is what has gotten us this far down the slippery slope. It's because people don't want to pay. And historically, like whenever you get one kind of free, you lose the other kind of free. You get free software, but you lose your freedom. I think the latter is a much more important thing when it comes to your digital lifestyle. At first, it's always easy to just get whatever's free because it's cool. But I promise you, in a dystopian future, you would wish that you had a way of paying to get a private channel of communication. And it just won't be there because we didn't allow those things to evolve. And we just decided that we wanted whatever was free at the time. So I strongly recommend supporting developers who are following practices that uphold your privacy because that is not very mainstream at the moment. That's basically it for this video. Let me know what you think. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content like this, I will be bringing back security talk by popular demand. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Leo from the Peace Security channel. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.